have $25,000, you have that fourth lifeline, which the question, you still have your 50-50, you still have your phone a friend. You're going for $50,000. A lot of money. Sure is. What U.S. president is commonly credited with inventing the swivel chair? Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, Andrew Jackson, James Monroe. I don't know this. I'm debating whether I want to use my phone a friend or do I want to change the question. I'll change the question. Okay, we're going to change the question. You have a guess? Uh, I would have guessed Lincoln. Lincoln? All right, let's see what it is. Good thing you didn't guess. It's really Thomas no Jefferson. No idea. Going to switch out of this question for another one valued, please, at $50,000. Iraq does not share a border with which of these Middle Eastern countries? Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Saudi Arabia. Does not share a border. Well, I know it definitely shares a border with Syria, definitely shares a border with Jordan, definitely shares a border with Saudi Arabia. Jordan, that would be B, Lebanon, final answer. You reasoned it out. You have $50,000. He's got $50,000, and he's trying to contain himself because Zach, you said you didn't want to uh, upset your mom or make her too nervous because she's a nervous wreck? She's always a nervous wreck. She should have seen her. She called me every day at school asking me questions, watching your show, and, and just giving me strategy, tips. Really? Nonstop. She's being a mom. She's being a I mom, her, and she's sitting behind you. Beatrice, nice to see you. And I know what it's like to be a mom. Are you getting excited up there? Oh, I, I yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> I think I'm much more excited here than I would ever be there. <laughs> so, so does he have your permission to, to get excited? Oh, my God, I really hope he does. <laughs> okay, get excited then. I will. She's a great mom, and I owe a lot to her, so. What do you mean you owe a lot to your mother? Well, she raised me and, and fed me and sheltered me. And she's, <laughs> yeah. she's wonderful. She might be a little bit psyched when it comes to millionaire, but otherwise... <laughs> Well, you're a nice son, except for that psycho part. <laughs> well, no, but we accept that as mothers. We do. Yeah. And, and she's a lovely lady. And, and your cousin Melissa is up there as well. I want to acknowledge her. She's been your supporter through all of this. And Zach, you have your mom's permission to go crazy at any time. And if you don't do it <laughs> soon, I'm going to be shocked because you're going for $100,000. Two lifelines sitting up there. Are you ready to play? Ready to go. All right, let's play. For $100,000. The two official mascots of the 2006 Olympic Winter Games were Neve, a female snowball, and Blizz, a male one. Ice cube, snowshoe, mitten, mug of cocoa. Go off the phone, a friend. Who would you like to call? I'd like to call my father, Warren. Your father, Warren? Yep. Okay, I understand he's your only phone, a friend. He's my only phone, a friend. The How only come one. You only picked one. Because well, he's he's a trivia buff and the smartest guy I know. So. Well, we're gonna get your dad, Warren, on the line right now. Hey. Hey, Warren. It's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? You doing? I'm doing great. You have a lovely son here. That's nice of you to say so. He's a very nice guy. He's also a pretty wealthy guy. How's he done? He's going for $100,000, Warren. Oh, my God. <laughs> Finally, someone gets excited. Exactly. <laughs> now I know who's going to take care of me in my old age. <laughs> well, well, he I'm... speaks very highly of you, Warren, that you're the only one he would trust with, with helping him at this point. So. I only hope to help. Okay. Zach, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. The two official mascots of the 2006 Olympic Winter Games were Nev, a female snowball, and Gliz, 
G-L-I-D, a male what? An ice cube, a snowshoe, a midden, or a mug of cocoa? 2006 Olympic Winter Games, the mascots were Nev, a female snowball, and Gliz, G-L-I-Z, a male what? Six seconds. An ice cube, and it's 100% sure. All right, great. <laughs> Well, your dad said an ice cube and it's 100% sure. He's, he's wrong, I got a bone to pick, but I, like I said, <laughs> I trust him more than anyone, so uh, go with A, ice cube. Final answer. Well, I'm starting to cry, so you better get that. <laughs> cheerleaders, oh. our pom-pom ladies right there. They want you to win. This audience wants to see you win a million dollars. We're oh. all on your team, Zach. All on your team. And I know you said to me in the break that all the kids that have been sitting in the back, you said you'd all go out and celebrate tonight, yeah. right? But I think I'm going to be the one buying drinks. I think you better be the one buying drinks. Absolutely. I do. Look at $100,000. Oh, it doesn't Three. even register. Well, it better start registering, because that's your money. You're three questions away from a million dollars. You still have your 50-50. Are you ready to play? Ready to go. I'm ready to go, too. Let's play. Back for $250,000. Of the planets in our solar system, where does Earth rank in terms of size? Fourth largest? Fifth largest? Sixth largest? Seven well, immediately, let's see the 50-50. Okay, Sorry, computer, please there. randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Nine planets. Uranus, Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are all definitely bigger. Pluto's definitely smaller. Mercury is definitely smaller. Good, Venus and Mars. I want to say that one of those two are bigger. Give me the answer to C. At the same time, a lot of money. Something about me wants to risk it. I don't know why, but... Mars... I know it's very, very similar to that there. I just don't know if it's slightly larger or slightly smaller. C, final answer. Oh, it was B. Oh. Oh. oh, Zach. Oh. But you know what? You have $25,000. Yeah. wonderful play. 